Zimbabwe's political landscape is once again ablaze with accusations as ZANU-PF, the ruling party, has pointed fingers at opposition leader Nelson Chamisa, alleging plans to disrupt the upcoming Southern African Development Community SADC summit in Harare. The accusations were made via the ZANU-PF-operated Operation Restore Legacy page on Monday, stirring controversy ahead of the regional event. According to the statement released by Operation Restore Legacy, ZANU PF Stalwitz claimed Job Sikala, Joseph Kalimbwe from Zambia, Nelson Chamisa, Takudzwa Ngadzior, and civil societies are planning to disrupt the incoming SADC summit in Harare. The allegations have raised eyebrows among political observers as they come amidst preparations for the 44th Ordinary SADC Summit of Heads of State and Government scheduled for August 17. 2024, the summit themed Promoting innovation to unlock opportunities for sustained economic growth and development towards an industrialist SADC is anticipated to convene regional leaders to discuss crucial issues impacting the Southern African region. In response to these allegations, Nelson Chamisa's camp has vehemently denied any involvement in plots to disrupt the summit. Citizens Youth spokesperson Stephen Sarkozy Chuma has since dismissed the allegations. These are baseless accusations aimed at tarnishing my reputation and diverting attention from the real issues facing Zimbabwe. Political analysts have highlighted that such accusations reflect ZANU-PF's historical strategy of blaming the opposition for internal challenges and diverting public attention from governance issues. Accusing political opponents of sabotage or conspiracy is not uncommon in Zimbabwean politics, especially in the lead-up to significant events like the SADC summit remarked one political scientist. The accusations against Jamisa and other figures named by ZANU-PF underscore the heightened tensions and the stress prevailing within Zimbabwe's political sphere. As the country prepares to host regional leaders and dignitaries for the SADC summit, the timing of these allegations adds a layer of complexity to regional diplomacy and internal political dynamics. The developments surrounding ZANU-PF's claims against Nelson Chamisa are expected to influence public discourse in the lead-up to the SADC summit. Observers and stakeholders will be closely monitoring how these accusations are addressed and whether they impact regional perceptions of Zimbabwe's political stability and diplomatic relations. While ZANU-PF's accusations against Nelson Chamisa have sparked controversy, the focus remains on the upcoming SADC summit and its potential to foster regional cooperation amidst domestic political tensions. As the situation unfolds, Zimbabweans and the international community await further developments with keen interest and scrutiny.